Well, uh, good afternoon, Scallywags. Uh, Hard Hebert here with tech tip number 53. Uh, we're underneath King's Pride today. Um, been sitting with this boat. This boat's been sitting in the water for a long time before we brought it here to Marine Tech. And um, as you can see, there's been a lot of growth. The pressure washed the boat, and that came out great, but there's all these little barnacle bellies that are still attached to the propeller shaft. And uh, I've been doing shaft removal on boats for most of my adult life, and I've seen all kinds of different ways. I've seen people approach them with these, with these grinding wheels, and, uh, you know, they put it in a drill and spend hours of their day trying to get all those barnacle guts off of the shaft. Um, I don't find them to be very efficient, and I've even seen some where they'll be hitting it and the sparks will be coming off. And I really don't like that because that means that there's actually some metal transfer happening. So along the tricks of my trade that I've learned along the way, is one way to get these, these, uh, these barnacle bellies off is with a simple bicycle chain. I went to the local bike shop the other day and they were throwing away a perfectly useless little kid's bike, but it had a brand new chain on it. And um, what you do is you take the bell, just take the chain, you wrap it once around the shaft, and you just run it back and forth like this on the shaft, and it scores those barnacle guts right away. And as you can see there, it doesn't take much effort. It does the entire shaft all at the same time. Oops, gotta be 10% smarter than the bike chain. And, uh, cleans it up to a point where then you can take a simple soft sandpaper, I like these little sponges, and you just you go over that really quick. And as you can see right there, that's already cleaned up, ready to go. Come down here a little bit. And the reason you need to do this is these, these barnacle parts and junk that's left on the shaft won't pass through the rubber of the cutlass bearing smoothly. Then it becomes a giant wrestling match. And uh, to get it out, you know, let me show you what we're trying to do here with, uh, I think that should be enough. Let's do a quick sand on this. Then you just hit it with a little bit of soapy water. And it'll slide nicely right out of the bearing. Still a little bit of a struggle, but not bad. It could always be a lot worse. And as you can see, this just keeps going on. I'll be here for a few more minutes finishing this up as I continue to grind away on it. So that's tech tip number 53, the bicycle chain versus barnacles, bike chain wins. Thanks for coming. Have a great day.